Welcome to the ARM Learning UDI community. This presentation is intended to explain the history behind the introduction of the unit of use, also known as the UOU. This novel concept is not commonly used in industries outside of healthcare. We will review the actual language in the original FDA documents. We'll also recommend best practices for medical device manufacturers to follow in the creation of the unit of use for their products. By understanding the need for this identifier, medical device manufacturers should be able to load more accurate information into the Global Unique Device Identifier Database, also known as the Good ID, so that the UOU can help improve both patient safety and the overall healthcare supply chain. The language on this slide is taken directly from the FDA documents creating the Unique Device Identification Program. It states that when the lowest packaged level of a product contains more than one device, an unmarked unit of use identifier should be created. This graphic is taken from an FDA guidance document released in June 2014. It describes the correct application of the unit of use identifier as originally conceived by the FDA. ARM hopes that this presentation provides additional context and information explaining this concept in greater detail. The device identifier, or DI for short, is common to many industries. While the physical form of the DI appears to be the same in industries such as retailers and grocers, the primary purpose for the DI is not the same. For retailers, the use of the DI is centered on the barcode scanners used at the checkout counter. In healthcare, the use of the DI will be centered on the patient. We intend to find uses for the DI beyond the smooth flow of commerce. As part of a patient-centered approach, we eventually plan to incorporate this identifier into the electronic health record for individual patients. The DI will also support many other related activities that will enhance the overall safe and effective use of medical devices in healthcare. The FDA intends for UDI to serve as critical infrastructure for a host of patient-centered activity. This graphic is taken from an actual FDA document and shows how UDI will clearly serve as the unifying center for areas such as device registries, longitudinal studies, safety monitoring, and much more. To achieve these lofty goals, it will be important to adapt the standards from a retail-centered packaging focus to accommodate this new patient-centered approach. We need to clearly differentiate the tracking of the packaged product, which is common to supply chain activity, from tracking the products which may be contained within those packages. When there are multiple devices contained in the lowest package level, there may be a need for clinicians to track the use of individual items on specific patients. The FDA created the unit of use concept to cover this precise need. This diagram is meant to show the various packaging levels for a product while at the same time showing the unpackaged, unmarked unit of use identifier. This medical device comes in two packaging levels. However, the lowest package level is a sealed tray containing 25 individual syringes. The FDA requires manufacturers to identify the individual products with an unmarked unit of use DI. These individual syringes are unmarked and unpackaged. At the same time, there may be a need to identify the use of these individual syringes separate from the lowest package level. Without the UOU DI, there would be no way to record this information in a standardized manner. While this may seem like a simple idea, there is a lot of confusion with this concept. There is no precedent for it in other industries. The term unit of use may seem to imply that it is the same as the lowest package level, but this is not the case. In most supply chains, you are not able to distribute product in any form lower than the lowest package level. This is especially true for items which are packaged to sterile. These items are no longer considered sterile once the package is opened. In healthcare, 
There may be clinical reasons why we need to track the individual items below their lowest package level. The unit of use DI allows us to differentiate between the individual device and the grouping at the lowest packaged level. The novel nature of this concept has resulted in confusion regarding the creation and implementation of the unit of use identifier. As an unmarked identifier, there is no physical barcode to scan. In order to use the UOUDI, it may be necessary to create alternative mechanisms that are not needed for the scanning of packaged product. For example, using shelf tags or reference labels on storage bins to represent the unit of use DI. We also don't have a clear template of these procedures from other industries. Additionally, some manufacturers may have loaded data to the good ID inconsistently. The unit of use DI may be missing entirely or contain dummy numbers and or data. We also have some examples where the unit of use DI is confused with the lowest package level. To minimize confusion and foster a standardized approach towards the creation and use of the unit of use DI, ARM organized a task force to study this issue. This group included stakeholders from across healthcare. It included representation from the FDA, hospitals, clinicians, industry groups, issuing agencies, and medical device manufacturers. They have suggested the following best practices for medical device manufacturers. First, all discrete items should be identified, even if they are packaged in larger multiples. For example, if you manufacture syringes in pharmacy trays, you should identify individual syringes within the lowest packaging level as well as at the tray or case level. Second, wherever possible, encourage the development of standard enumeration practices with logical sequences. If your policies permit, it may be beneficial to standardize around the use of specific identifiers related to specific packaging levels. Given the diversity of medical devices, this may not always be possible. We recommend you formulate a logical sequence that works best for your organization. Once those identifiers have been created, it is important to provide the full data, including unit of use DI, to all trading partners. You should clearly indicate which DI are marked and which are not. You should also clearly indicate the net content for all products. Finally, it is very important to clearly indicate the unit of use whenever it differs from the lowest package level. In order to provide more detailed guidance, we invite you to search the Learning UDI Community area in the ARM website. We have provided slides from both the Health Industry Barcode Council and GS1 for additional information in an appendix. Please refer to your respective issuing agency if you require further assistance.